Coburn. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker, and it's a pleasure to speak in the first King's Speech debate for over 70 years. And uh, I looked back at my comments during the last loyal address debate where the government uh, promised to make million, hundreds of millions of pounds worth of upgrades to my local hospital and construct a new specialist emergency care hospital. And I'm grateful that the first set of funds have now been released for that. Um, and the King's Speech does contain a lot to be welcomed, including the Media Bill, the Draft Rail Reform Bill, the Renters Reform Bill, the Sentencing Bill and the Victims and Prisoners Bill. But turning to the theme of today's debate, securing high sustained economic growth in every part of the country, I want to commend the Government for focusing on economic growth, because only with economic growth can we pay for those public services that our constituents rely on, and I want to touch on just a few of them today. Starting first with rail, Carshall and Wallington, whilst being in a London borough, is one of the worst connected parts of Greater London and would hugely benefit from a more efficient railway network to, to travel around not just in and out of central London but across London as well, a fact that is consistently lost on the Mayor of London as we consistently come last out of all 32 London boroughs for investment from this Mayor. And I would like to invite the government to look again at the redistribution of funding um, from HS2 um, to see whether or not any of that funding can be allocated to the Carshall and uh, Croydon area remodelling scheme to unlock the Brighton main line um, and deliver improvements on that incredibly important link. But I would like to move on also to talk about being safe online. Um, which is something that many of my constituents raise uh, with me. Scams on social ma media platforms, for example, such as Meta, and I really am looking forward to seeing how the Digital Markets Competition and Consumers Bill will be able to bring back consumer confidence online and a robust legal framework so that people can trust the services that are provided to them. Touching on other elements of the King's speech, I'd like to also welcome the government's ambition to making um, people's safety and security paramount um, for this next parliamentary session. Um, this is particularly uh, salient in Carshall and Wallington, where the Mayor of London again f continues to fail to grasp the problem of violent crime in the capital. After promising a violence reduction unit, we are yet to see any details of that unit operating whatsoever and what effect it has had. Um, we've recently seen a number of attacks um, in Carshall and Wallington, including a horrendous knife attack on Roundshaw, um, and many of my constituents are um, waiting with bated breath to see how the Criminal Justice Bill will be able to tackle the scourge that is knife crime and violent, violent crime. And tougher sentencing, of course, is an important step forward, but I would also just like to remind the Treasury front bench uh, of my interest in restorative justice uh, and the ability that that can play in breaking the cycle of reoffending. And I look forward to seeing the conclusion of the Victims and Prisoners Bill, and I hope that we can see um, a right to restorative justice, uh, to access restorative justice services included within that, so that we can try and help people break that cycle of reoffending. Uh, but of course, punishment must be part of that as well. And creating a criminal offence of possession of a bladed article with the intent to cause harm will help take more knives off our streets and stop the next generation from, ta um, from taking up a knife in the first place. But lastly, very briefly, I want to touch on the Renters Reform Bill, which will affect many of my constituents and many of Londoners, because I do hear from many renters that there is no way of holding uh, their landlords to account and that housing quality isn't kept up to standard. And the private rented property portal will hopefully be able to provide some security for tenants and landlords will also benefit from the bill as they will be able to evict antisocial tenants more easily and disputes will be quicker and easier to resolve. So I am hoping that as this bill makes progress through the House that we can bring more harmony between landlords and tenants but also make it a much safer place to live, rent and create a UK uh, um, where it is safe um, to do so which will crack down on wrongdoers but also support um, the innovators. So overall I do very much welcome the measures taken within this King's speech. I absolutely welcome the government's commitment and focus on economic growth um, because just to repeat what I said at the beginning of my remarks, without that economic growth and without that growing the economy, backing the wealth creators and backing the entrepreneurs, we will not be able to see that improvement in the public service that we desperately want to see.